be aware that you're here, you're anchored, you're on the earth, and you're going to get through this day. Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. I'm a journalist, a mother, and I teach health psychology at Cal State Channel Islands. I've teamed up with Local Now to help all of us work on our mental health and our family dynamics because times are certainly changing and they're gonna to continue to do so. So let's get started. Can we talk about stress? Are you feeling a little stressed lately? Have you been barking at your own dog? Have you been kicking things that are inanimate objects, hopefully? not humans. Let's talk about different ways that humans cope with stress. During a crisis like this, I think it's really important that you understand that our ability to cope with stress is linked to our health, our long-term health and even our short-term health. Because when we're feeling stress and we don't have good coping strategies, it suppresses our immune system. So there are basically two ways that psychologists have identified that people cope with stress. One is called problem-focused coping. That's trying to change all the external circumstances that are causing stress, all the stressors, if we will. So if you are in a job that you hate or your boss is harassing you, problem-focused coping might be going to HR or filling out applications at lots of other workplaces. Now, the other kind of coping strategy is called emotion-focused coping. That's where instead of trying to change the world around you, you simply work on trying to modulate your own feelings. That might mean exercising. That might mean mindful meditation. It might mean humor. It might mean reframing and looking for the silver lining. Either way, both forms of coping can work. Now, if you had to guess, which gender do you think is most likely to use problem-focused coping and which to use emotion-focused coping? You're right. The dudes are always trying to fix things, right? So in this time though, we have a particular problem. We can't change anything externally. Oh, you can go onto social media and rant that the government is causing your problems or China has created the virus. Lovely, but it's not really gonna help you. Research has shown that people who vent actually raise their blood pressure and their heart rate and it doesn't calm them down. So my advice is to anybody, male or female, who's mostly used problem-focused coping in the past, it's time that you do something different. Many days, you might just want to lift the paddle and let the river take you. That means don't put more stress on yourself to do things and get things done. Instead, focus on your breathing. I'd like you to do three things every morning, and it's really simple. Start when you first wake up by taking three long, deep breaths. I mean all the way deep into your belly breaths. And after you breathe in for up to 10 seconds, if you can do it, then hold it for three seconds and exhale for an even longer, slower exhale. Then after you've done your three breaths, which means you've triggered your vagus nerve to create a relaxation response, I'd like you to think about your intention for the day. No, not your to-do list, not what you have to do, just who you're gonna to be today. Yesterday, my word was good teacher. It was my day where I was teaching Zoom classes to frazzled college students. So there's only one thing I wanted to do right, which was attempt to be a good teacher. Today, my word was strong mom. I'm not gonna fall apart for my kids and I'm gonna allow them to be messy and fall apart all they want and I I'm going to be a strong mom and hold it together. So whatever your intention is, during the day, when you start to feel your breath get shorter, when you start to feel that you're panicking, when you're starting to feel lethargy and you're getting nothing done, just go back to that one intention. That's all that matters. And the third thing I want you to do in the morning is when you get out of bed for the first time, put your feet on the floor and let all 10 toes feel the floor. Feel your feet literally spread out as it begins to take your body weight. Be aware that you're here, you're anchored, you're on the earth, and you're going to get through this day. I promise you, don't worry about that to-do list. Just worry about your intention for the day. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. You can follow me everywhere on social media. My handle is at 
Dr. Wendy Walsh. And every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, I do a live stream that streams all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. Mating Matters is the place to understand why we do what we do. It's the secret to winning the mating game. It's all explained using evolutionary psychology in my podcast, Mating Matters. Listen and follow Mating Matters on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Mating Matters.